And guys, this workout is gonna be all white dumbbells only. The most I'm going up to on any one of these exercises is 45 pound dumbbells. So don't need super heavy dumbbells to do this workout, but it is extremely challenging. Yo, yo, you're shredded brother from another mother. And I have a shoulder workout for you guys today that is unlike anything else on YouTube. And the reason the shoulder workout is so effective is because of this. If you took two groups of lifters over the course of eight weeks in group number one, only focused on getting stronger on the barbell overhead press and group number two for eight weeks threw in new intensity techniques and new exercises, new ways to shock their shoulders over the course of eight weeks every workout the group that does new sh is always going to see faster results so if you've been stuck doing the same shoulder routine over and over again i got you guys and the balloon method workouts are the number one reason why i think this channel is one of the most underrated fitness channels on youtube so if you enjoy this workout give it a big thumbs up subscribe tap that notification bell um kitty gains has grown her booty very fast using the balloon method i'll throw a little before and after on the screen right here and i'm on week number four of my cut so i'm actually going to be slamming some superhuman burn this is a two-in-one fat burning pre-workout it's got the pump, the performance, and the energy ingredients like you'd expect in any good pre-workout. But what I love about this is it helps me burn more calories every workout. So I'm going to slam this down and I'll see you guys in the gym. So when you guys are doing the six ways, it's six different movements. So one, two, three, four, five, Six. So six to eight reps should give you anywhere between 30 and 45 seconds time on attention. So we are doing the dumbbell six ways to start the workout. And I love starting my shoulder workouts with this move because it's going to warm up your rotator cuff, every ligament in your shoulders, and it's going to engage the front delt, the side delt, and the rear delt. Now, I don't care how strong you are with your shoulders. Even if you're freaking Larry wheels, you can overhead press more than 200 pounds you're probably not gonna go more than 20 or 25 pounds on this exercise. I went 15s here, and on the third and fourth set, it was extremely challenging getting the full 10 reps. So you're looking at my second working set right here. On the lat raise part, you're really focusing on pushing out. And the hardest part is right here when I'm going up overhead and then controlling the weight on the way down. That is such a hard move. Uh, shout out to Kitty Gaines, by the way, for filming the entire workout. And this move right here should be a go-to in all of your shoulder workouts. Even if you only do like two sets just to warm up your shoulders, such a good move to do. And let me know, by the way, guys, in the comments below, if you like this voiceover style video where I can just focus on showing you my workout and just recording a voiceover. If you do, I'll be able to show you a lot more workouts when I'm in like focus mode. I'm just working out at the gym. I can just have Kitty Gaines grab my phone and film the workout just like this. So let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. I'm not even really sure what you call these. Sort of the cheat curl equivalent to a shoulder exercise. So you're using a little bit of momentum, but I really like it because you go nice and heavy on the first part of the drop set and you get a crazy shoulder pump. So elbows are a lot more bent here than on a lat raise and really flaring out those delts. So this move right here, like I said, I like to think of it as cheat curls for your delts. And what I really love about it is it allows you to go really heavy and also engage your side delts. So traditionally, when you lift heavy on shoulders, you're really limited to basically a seated dumbbell press or a standing overhead barbell press. That's what probably most of you guys do. So as you see in this workout, there's a few types of lat raise movements little variations that allow us to go a lot heavier this is one of them and then just to make it more intense and maximize the three science backed ways you can build muscle with the balloon method we're doing a drop set now drop sets just cause a little bit more muscle damage you're doing something your body's not accustomed to you're making your workout more intense you're training harder like my boy greg Gusset says and you are training smarter train harder than last time train smarter than last time so you guys are watching my second working set right here. As you can see, it's getting fairly heavy. Um, on the drop set, I recommend whatever you pick for set number one or the first part of the drop set, let's say you pick 40s, I recommend dropping the weight about 30, 40%. So I went from 45s to 25. So I dropped it, you know, a good 40% on the drop set. It was very challenging. 
and you guys are gonna love this move. Just use a little bit of momentum, not too much, and you guys are gonna blow out those side delts. And let me know, let's talk, let's talk some NBA as you guys watch my third working set here. Do you think Kobe Bryant should be the new NBA logo? They're talking about it on the TV behind me when I was at the gym, and I thought I'd ask you guys, all my NBA fans who watch this channel. So let me know if you think Kobe should be the new NBA logo in the comments below. So this is one of my favorite shoulder moves I got from the Mountain Dog. Shout out to John Meadows. I call it heavy lat raise partials. So we're going fairly heavy on this. I had 40 pound dumbbells. This is the end of my workout. If I was at the start, I'd be doing 50s or 60s. But think about just doing a lat raise and you're stopping right at the point of maximum contraction. So you're going like a quarter way. Think of it as like kind of quarter lat raises, nice and heavy weight, but you don't want to rest. So the key is to go heavy and keep those delts under constant time under tension, anywhere between 10 to 12 reps. So shout out to the mountain dog, John Meadows, who I learned this exercise from. And once again, this is another variation of a lat raise. Think of these as quarter lat raises. You're gonna go a lot heavier than you guys are used to. And this is just gonna blow up those side delts. I love this move. It's such a great mass builder for the side delts. Go nice and heavy. You wanna be at or near failure in the 10 to 12 repetition range. Keep the rest times on this move no more than 90 total seconds. So this one's one of my favorite recent drop tests I've been adding. So what you're gonna do is 10 to 12 lat raises. You're gonna internally rotate a little bit. If you guys have seen the Charles Glass videos I've done with him. Slight internal rotation, push out instead of shrugging your shoulders. And then what I do is, it's a lot harder standing up, so I'll do 10. And then I use a little bit of momentum for 12 more. So we are up to some good old fashioned dumbbell lat raises. And to make it a lot more intense, we have a little superset action here. So like these balloon method workouts, the goal is to shock your muscles into growth. So we triggered mechanical overload. We went heavy on a few of these moves. We're doing lots of drop sets and supersets, and we're going for maximum time under tension on a few of these moves. So when you look at the totality of the shoulder workout, we're triggering mechanical overload, we're getting metabolic stress and muscle damage. So those are the three science-backed ways your body builds muscle. And we're doing it in every single workout. That's the beauty of the balloon method. So this was a little bit longer of a shoulder workout than I usually do. But if you guys have legging shoulders, you're trying to grow those delts quick, such a great routine to do, I would say, no more than, you don't need to do this more than twice per week. It is a brutally effective shoulder workout. It's a lot of volume, like this is a good 15 to 20 total set. So I would say don't do this any more than twice per week, but you can do this like Monday and Friday, Tuesday and Saturday. So this is a really unique move. I wanna make sure you guys got the form on this. It's in, think about doing a move in between a front raise and a lap raise. So you're coming out right here and you wanna go high rep on this. 15 to 20 rep range, anywhere between like 30 and 45 seconds time under tension. Don't rest the delts at all. So we are up to the V raise. On this move, the key is don't go too high. Like on the six ways on the first exercise, you know how we're elevating and we're bringing those dumbbells all the way over our head? Well, this one, think opposite. You're just raising your arms. Think about forming a V and you're stopping right at the point where the dumbbells are in front of your face. You wanna keep constant tension on the side and the front delts on this move, but you wanna go 15 to 20 total reps and we're triggering metabolic stress. So this is one of those moves where we're going more time under tension. Uh, lighter weight, I believe I'm using 15s on the set. Yeah, I'm using 15s right here. So I went a, I went a good 20 repetitions on this and I went four total sets. I kept my rest times 45 seconds on this. So this is one of those moves, think of it as a finisher where you're actually gonna shorten your rest times and you're gonna increase the time under tension of each of your working sets. So post-workout, just getting some sunshine on my rooftop. An amazing day today. And I'm also enjoying my favorite post-workout protein. So the best type of protein to have post-workout is gonna be a whey protein isolate. 
It's 99.9% lactose free. It's got 100 out of 100 on the protein quality scale and it digests really fast. So in honor of National Protein Day, which was yesterday, Superhuman Protein is 20% off. And if you guys use your YouTube fam special discount code, Troy10, you get an additional 10% off. It's 30% off with the National Protein Day discount and my discount code. And all you gotta do is tap the link in the description or head to elfline.com and use Troy10. But I drink this stuff two to three times per day. It makes it so easy to get in 200 grams of protein per day and it tastes so good. So cannot recommend this stuff enough, guys. And I'm actually enjoying one of my last days here in Manhattan Beach, actually my last weekend here because we are moving to Las Vegas on Thursday. So some crazy things in the works and I'm actually building a garage gym and I'm building a production studio in my house so I'll have a lot more videos for you guys. Just gonna enjoy some sunshine here and I will see you guys on the next video.